같이 이탈리안 파스타 만들어 볼까요? Let's go! 오늘 Whenever I go visit new countries, I don't like doing group tours or I love to cook. So I thought to myself, why not just go and learn a new skill that I can use, a life skill. This is second morning in Florence and I'm on my way to authentic pasta making cooking class by a master chef who used to work in a Michelin star restaurant. But I heard all his recipes all comes from his grandmother, who's a professional pasta maker from I don't know where, up north somewhere. <laughs> we'll get more details when we meet the chef. All right, let's go. Santa Maria Fiore. Wow. Oh, I think it's here. Ah, oh, it's this one. Okay, we're here. Hello, buongiorno. Are you ready to make the YouTube uh, movie? Yes, yes. <laughs> What's your name, sorry? Andrea. Andrea, okay. Ready to cook with some love? Yes. <laughs> uh, white for me, please. <laughs> Never say no to one. <laughs> no. Whole month, the first month is all about cutting. Like, you know. <laughs> A lot of like the students in the class, the chef made them cry. <laughs> yeah. They do make the dish and they say, oh. This sucks, and then they just trash it right in front of you. So it destroys your self esteem. Very harsh, very harsh. I feel like I'm a teacher here at the head of the table. I mean, you're my, my husband's a brother, a brother in law, TJ. <laughs> yeah. And I, have, uh, I live in Bangkok and I just started my YouTube channel. So I want to do just travel around more and that just document like, whatever I learned and share with everyone. That's good. That's good. You are in the right place. Yeah. <laughs> Myself, I'm Andrea. I started to become a fashion chef when I was 16. Wow. I play school and work in the weekend at the beginning for free. And then the other one was to work in a Michelin star restaurant, and then I worked in six restaurants with Michelin star as a chef and first chef as well. Came back in Italy and I never moved anymore. We're gonna make at least three shapes of pasta and three sauces. We're gonna start uh, over there at the other table so you can join me. We are not making a Bolognese because we are not in Bologna. We are in Florence, so we're making a Fiorentino. The ingredients and the way are the same. The only thing is gonna change is the cut of the meat. Instead of the ground drip meat, we are using ossobuco. Ossobuco is a drip shape. So if you buy this cut of the meat to the butcher, make sure that the wall is pretty big and the marrow must be inside. They give more flavor. We need to roast the meat. Every time we even you're making the bolognese or the uh, Fiorentino or the Fiorentino, start every time to roast the meat. So I turn on my stove up at 7, the last one is 9, to make it really, really hot. Remove the meat at least 20 minutes before from the fridge, while to make it dry all the surfaces, because we want to roast the meat to give more flavor at the end. What we have to do at the beginning, we need to cut the meat at the end of the day, example, around, around, roughly, so the meat doesn't waste any more. Just bring it behind. And the traditional device to start with the fat, uh, in Italy, just uh, up north, close to the France, the Switzerland, they use butter and the salt, especially in Sicily, they use pork lard sometimes. I can set my meat inside, let them roast uh, for a few minutes. Guys, I can't watch it, don't touch it, so I place it to me, it's done. Then we screw 
The name is a soup pizza and it's made by three vegetables. Onion, carrot and celery. Never change, but add the same ingredients to make the bolognese soup. There is no garlic. I know that you put the oh. garlic everywhere when you eat the video. I can flip my meat and let them roast the other side too. But aside, okay? On the vegetables, that's how you see that you cook, okay? So, in the recipe, I have the tomato paste at the beginning and let them roast a bit because when you roast the, the tomato paste at the end, they're going to get a more tomato flavor, kitchen mm -hmm. flavor at the end. Also, now I can set fresh herbs inside. I recommend you guys the fresh herbs, not the dry. It will be fresh. Sage, rosemary, and thyme. Very to put everything together. I set my herbs here, and at the end, I will find it. Eat it. I'm using red wine because I'm using red meat. Otherwise, if you want a white meat, I use a white wine. For the fish, all the time is white wine except for pure. One important thing don't buy the cheapest wine. It's gonna be terrible, okay? <laughs> the whole part. Oh, you're not gonna get drunk, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, the meat must be covered. So what you do is put one bottle of red wine and That's one bottle of water as well. So one and one, also you can drop. You know, you know, you can get a little bit drunk. Let me show you one thing. So, I'm gonna press oh. inside, okay? It's gonna give a more flavor at the end. Promise that don't throw it away. Oh. Never just freeze if you don't wanna use the... And when you need your making up our sauce, oh. Medium temperature for 15 20 minutes until we start to boil. And then we set the temperature on okay. So we will go for the last hour and then the cook. We don't have to stay here so we can do a little bit. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> it's so cool. The smells amazing too. Eh? Yeah. I'm so surprised they don't use garlic. No. We've been doing it all along. So, double zero flour, and today we're working with uh, 126, 127 grams of fat. The recipe, you can change every day, sometimes, many times during the same day. If we have a sunny morning or a rainy afternoon, for example, then it's going to be different. What we're going to do, we're going to rub your hands and we make a hole in the in the flour. Work with the bottom of the fork. Yes. Don't worry to combine. It must be a crumbling, okay? Don't worry if it doesn't look at all. I go from the bottom, from the top, and squeeze all the ingredients together. One end I push out, the other one I fold and then turn and keep working like this. It's getting harder. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what is that mean. What is that mean? Is something like this, we have a lot of whey left over, so what we do is to throw it away, we recook. And that's why ricotta contains less fat than other cheeses because the second point in time. 
So we flex the visually boy, three drops, black pepper, salt, parmigiano reggiano, and lemon zest. So that only upside down we can see when it's getting white. Also, we can collect all the zest on the blade and I can push it straight in the filling like this. Okay, so I just mix with your teaspoon. Put a bit of ricotta on your arm and try by your hand. It's good. <laughs> 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 Because uh, uh, it's more thick, so it doesn't get inside or easily like the double zero. So the pasta the rice get really, really dry easily. Semolina pasta is the most common when you buy the dry pasta. Just a little bit of semolina on, on the pasta. On. Push a roll in one way first, and then turn and go in the other one. Go on the bench like this. Two hand on the rolling pin. This is the easiest way and also the fastest. two centimeters from one edge and then put your teaspoon on with your finger push the ricotta on the pasta on the other side don't forget to leave a bit of edge two centimeters on the other side Do not press, hey, do not press. How do you say delicious in Italian? It's sapporo. Oh, it's not sapporo. Sapporo. Sapporo means uh, rich and flavor. Oh, okay. Rich so flavor. it's delicioso. Delicioso. Also, you make one on the other one, the other lasagna. You can make oh. lasagna. Oh. Pinch them apart. Farfalle. 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 Oh. So we do the same like the cavatelli. Press and turn. And then for the tom. Remove it and we have a ricchette. Little ears. Okay, little ears. Four fingers, eh? I do three, you do four. To make a triangle. Press, so 
about uh, here to one side I pinch, put also my finger in the middle so I roll up one side first on my finger and the other one on the other side. Put a bit of water and then we have a total lift. making the pasta, so we're gonna go cook the pasta. Let's go. I'm making pure sandwich, which means a butter in sage. And it is the most famous sauce that we have for the raviolis. Also, guys, if you have a common famous sauce, a cover that Fredo. If you're Italian, they don't know about Fredo, but even it is Italian sauce. Of course, when you roll, it just disappears, right? Oh. So, if you use the cream in your carbonara sauce, Stop doing, okay? <laughs> Having cream to the carbonara sauce means it's illegal. Okay. <laughs> uh, butter. A little bit? A little bit. You deserve it if you work hard. Yeah, we do. Not of carbonara <laughs> Okay? Butter and sage are the only two ingredients for this sauce. But because I know that you love garlic, I'll show you how we use the garlic. Put the on top, just break up in the skin and put it oh. inside. Water. Just remove a bit. Let me stop, okay? Or let me like this. And move. And move. Let's make more there. Then you must be in time, more or less. Can add the sage. A bit. Medium meat, sorry. No, it's really high. Really oh. high. Oh, I see. It's really so good. If it's not brown, we keep doing it like this, and pull it down aside on the paper, and it's becoming crispy, so you can skip on the food. Oh. I add that water. Okay, make sure that the butter doesn't have to be hot, otherwise all the water is rushing everywhere. Okay, so, as can you see, it's really liquid, the sauce. We can put it below a bit, and we can start to cook our pasta. It's going to take 2-3 minutes. It's a light sauce, mm -hmm. just full of butter. Chef, can I ask what's the difference between Northern Italian and Southern Italian? Well, so, it's Northern, that is South. There's a food that tastes of the food. No, food is different. Oh. It's just a region, but not just North and South. Oh. Region by region, city by city. I see. Every time you change also the shapes, the name of the shapes. Oh. The pasta, for And then guys, what I do, I want to balance the temperature to make it creamy. Oh. Okay? Melted butter, hot butter is uh, liquid, it's melted, then cold it's solid. I'm oh. looking for a creamy sauce, so I'm balancing oh. the fat, cold and hot, water, cheese, tint. Starch in the water. Oh. That much. You see, it's wow. creamy, but yeah. I use cream. We have just one roll at this table, women first. So to eat, eh, guys, don't wait us. You have your food, put well, a teaspoon of truffle oil on top. Sage butter sauce is probably the best one I've ever tasted. I couldn't believe how buttery and creamy it was without using any actual cream. <laughs> this simple cooking made to the best. Oh. Chewy guys, it's spongy but it's still a bit chewy, but it's like parmigiano. So take one of these. Wow. 
Huh? How's that texture of real cheese? Usually we do three. Five Today we wow. do very good that we make two shapes of sauce. We also do five sauces. Wow. No dinner, no dishes. Pepperoni is uh, bad peppers here. Okay? With the venison, we call pepperoni, pizza, with salami, colasa. We go with the other spicy salami, is a diamola, the devil pizza. Korean, that's why I'm drinking. <laughs> So Chef Andrea, so these are your grandmother's recipe? Yeah, because my grandmother used more the, uh, the semolina pasta. The way our cook is the same way how we want to chefs. Uh -huh. And my grandma's way too. So I mix everything. Put it on the inside, the water, the water, the water, the water, the water. Oh, cook with love, yeah. 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 <laughs> Two extra ingredients on that. Wow. I learned the fifth sauce. So. Getting so much weight, but I don't care because I'm happy. Dry chili, guys. It's better to use the fresh one. I don't tell you today. Chili inside. Garlic, chili. Let's see the and let me cook the garlic for a bit. I did the garlic yellow gold. So in Florence, they use lime instead of lemon? No, this is a, a fancy way. Oh, I see. Smile, <laughs> smile. The cooking pasta is not a surgery, please. <laughs> Pasta to use for like which sauce? Uh, that's uh, yes. Yeah. You should know. Oh, it's, it's a master class. It's yes. a master class. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Lime zest and dill. I've never seen that done this way before. I like 
So if you're using fresh tomato, you have to use garlic. But if you're using canned tomato, then just onion. A pinch of salt, add to remove the water. Is that next? Okay, you can use just fresh tomatoes. Maybe the pasta. Pasta. Tomato puree. Oh. Extra water. Water and let them cook for 4 minutes. It's gonna be ready. Vessel. Chef, what's your full name? Andrea Pizzolante. Pizzolante? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Grazie per uh, uh, mille, right? Grazie mille. Grazie voi. Grazie voi. Salute. Salute. Pasta. Pasta. This is Truje from TJ Stories in Florence with Chef Andrea. Okay. Arrivederci. 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 Making pasta, guys. <laughs> <Ciao>. <laughs> oh my god, that was probably the, one of the highlights of this trip. This one and uh, truffle green. hunting. Yeah. Not truffle hunting. Not truffle hunting. I really this like one truffle hunting. Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's true. Truffle hunting, I just walked along. Oh. Was, but the dog was so cute. We were just following the dog. Yeah, yeah. Oh. What a experience. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right? Yeah, we got it. <laughs> and the sauces are not as hard as they look. Yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like if we try to do it, though, it will work. It will work. Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, Anya. Instagram handle name 
Oh, TJ Stories. Oh, uh, TJ Storytelling, I think. So, yes, you make a video to answer on Instagram, you talk, yeah. and we follow you as well. Okay. So, yes. Just, when you come to make a video, <laughs> just the best profile. Okay, best profile. Just give the best profile. Okay, all right, thank you. Uh, I wrote a restaurant guidebook in China a long time ago for Seoul restaurants, but that was like 20 years ago. Do you have kids? Not yet. No. I have two, two cats. Two cat children. How old are you? I'm 40. Forty? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're 40, but you look younger. Oh. I think you have a lot of children as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I live happily, yeah. yeah. <laughs> TJ from TJ Stories in Florence, Florence, and I will see you next time.